Grade 6 Math Number 7.5b Histograms A histogram is a bar graph that shows the frequency of data in intervals. Those are spaces between units or objects. When there's a large number of data values, it's helpful to group them into intervals. So we have been doing Class 1 math test scores for the last few videos. We did mean, median, and mode with them with those scores, and we did stem and leaf plots with the same scores. Now here's a histogram with the same scores. So there were 18 students, and these were their test scores. So it's grouped into people that scored in, well, actually the 40s, it should say 40 there, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and people who scored 100. And you can see that people that scored in the 90s, there were the most. In fact, there were six people that scored in the 90s. So it's very easy to see in a graph like this what the scores were and who got the most and who got the least. And you can see the clusters, see? There's a big cluster of people who got 90s on their test scores. These are the intervals. And here's the frequency, the number of students that got those scores, see? Now, when we compare this to the stem and leaf plot that we looked at in the last video in 7.5a, people who scored 100, remember that this side, the stems, are the tens and hundreds place values, and this is the ones place values. So if three people got 100, it shows a 10 in a stem and a 0, 0, 0 for leaves, because these are the ones place for the hundreds, see? So we can see three people got 100, and we can see nine people scored, in, or I'm sorry, six people scored in the nines, the 90s, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six here. Now, if you notice, there's six here, see? Because of the same scores. We're, they're just on two different types of graphs. Someone scored a 70, another person so scored a 70, and someone scored a 78. See? That's the tens digit, and this is the ones digit, and they group them all together and they go in ascending order to the right as they get bigger, see? So you can see the exact mode. Remember, mode means the numbers that occur most often. So there's three people that got 100. Yes, two people got 97, but three people got 100. So that's the mode. That's the exact mode. And we can get exact data from this stem and leaf plot, can't we? But can we get exact data from the histogram? No, we can't. Can we get the mode from the histogram? Remember, it means the, the test score that occurred most often? Well, no, because it's all grouped in intervals and clustered together, we don't see exact data. And even though it says that there's three people who got 100 here, like it does here, we don't know if five people got a 99. We don't know that because it's just ballparked, isn't it? So we can only get approximate information from a histogram. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you that's interesting is if you were to turn this sideways, okay, and turn it sideways like this one, the data is the same. See? One at level one, one at level one, one at level one. One at level one, one at level one, one at level one. See if we turned it sideways like this way? It's like a mirror image. Then there's, see? And then there's two that got three, those are right here, one that got six, that's this one, and then one that got three. So it's sort of like a mirror image of this one. The only difference is this is showing exact numbers, and the histogram isn't, okay? So if you had a hundred numbers that you needed to put on a chart, this would be a great one to use because you could just group them all together in the intervals. See, this is more exact, all right? So now you can make your own histogram and your own stem and leaf plots, okay? And you know what they are. Keep up the good work. I'll see you next video. Bye.